Good morning. Uh, and I, too, again, have a, one of these letters, these cancellation notices that have been sent out to millions of Americans. Uh, despite the President's promise to uh, otherwise, uh, people in America are not being uh, uh, able to keep their health care plans if they like it. Now, back in 2010, uh, we had a meeting at the Blair House uh, with the President before he signed Obamacare into law. And I raised with the President the issue of plans being canceled. And there, the President actually admitted that he knew people would lose their plans, yet he kept making this false promise that somehow people could keep their plans if they liked them. Now, House and Senate Democrats repeated the President's promise, and now they've abandoned it. As we've heard, so have President Clinton this week, President Carter last week. And on Friday, we'll see how many Democrats will put their constituents over politics. Chairman Upton's Keep Your Plan Act is simple. It simply allows insurers to make good on the President's promise. It's not going to fix the entire problem. And it doesn't stop Obamacare from being a train wreck, but it is a good first step. And listen, we have only uh, begun to see the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the broken promises surrounding Obamacare. And as costs soar and quality of care declines, we're going to continue to fight for our constituents who don't deserve to have their health care and their paychecks take such an enormous hit uh, that uh, they're enduring here under Obamacare.